Okay, quick card shuffle system. Um, wasn't too sure exactly on what type of cards, so I'm just kind of playing with normal cards. Uh, but I mean, really, the, the system kind of works with everything. Okay, so right now, technically, if I hit uh, show cards, I have they're obviously in in order, right? There's nothing fancy about that but if I hit shuffle give it a second and I say show cards now all of a sudden I have I uh, just a mix and I can hit shuffle again and show cards and just like that it, it's just there is a shuffling system right and, and and a lot of that's built in right so right now and I'll, I'll show you how I did that um, so here it's literally just there's a button and another button uh, this is just the those cards themselves as blanks there's nothing special there there's no logic there um, everything actually happens in here so I'll, I'm, I'm using a ray maker um, so I made a reference called deck uh, their type game object and then I, I went and made a card it's just an empty game object with an FSM on it called card and it has a name and that's all there is there's no logic there's nothing else in here nothing happens <clears throat> just a placeholder for data so if I hit play I get this thing produces all these cards and it produces them in order you can see the array over here produces them in order when I hit shuffle it actually shuffles all them all around and when I hit show it actually takes the first five cards it says okay this is where we're at so ideally all it does uh, this is all this is all the logic for the whole system so right in the beginning I I this this actually I believe is on the ecosystem it's actually an older action it's called iterate so I'm going to iterate four times in this situation uh, depending on like if it's like a trading card game you wouldn't have to do this little portion so I'm going to iterate and then I'm using a sequence event where I do hearts club diamond spades so on the very first go of this happening it does hearts we're going to set a string value, even though this is technically part two. I call it part one because I'm an idiot, apparently. So of hearts. So it flows through. It sets a string. The string doesn't do anything. It's just a set of hearts. Comes down here, and then this one doesn't iterate from twelve times. So it comes along and says, "Okay, let's do an operator, the index, because there's no card zero. So index." plus one uh, store that as just in a variable I'll call it type for whatever reason I create my card that guy I don't care where I create him or anything but I store him as a card I convert the index that we had up here into a string called part two so format zero zero I build string and like I said I don't know why I called one part two and the other one part one is that they should actually be flipped but whatever All right so I build a string part two and part one I get the result I then set FSM string on the card right because we're iterating through so I've created this object card so I set the string of its name to the result of this for what was created I add this to this array and then just to keep it tidy I parent the cards to this object you don't have to do that either and then uh, also just for visual thing for seeing it 
I set the name of the actual go the game object that gets created to the same name as the card. And then <clears throat> it comes back, right? So it loops and it creates all those cards. And when this loop is done, it goes back uh, over here. Well, this whole loop is still technically wanting to run, right? So that was one, one loop. So the next loop comes in and says, oh, we're doing sequence. Now we're doing clubs. And it comes in and it does the exact same thing. It finishes, it comes back over here. It comes then you know, it does diamonds and then spades. So then it creates the 52 cards. And again, like you don't technically have to do the, any of this. If you wanted to pre-make the cards and put them in the array, that's, that's fine. So anyways, here is where kind of the magic, I guess, kind of happens, I suppose, is I have uh, an array for what's in your hand, which is what this guy is. So there's an array of each of these text elements. So if I hit this button, it does the shuffle. And it comes over and there's literally just an action with the array list called shuffle. So I'm just gonna shuffle the deck and then come back, that's it. That's all it does and it does a whole shuffle. Um, there's the options like you can play with shuffling range and stuff too. Um, and then if I click the other button, it uh, runs through my, it runs through this array, right? Obviously I don't want all the cards. So I'm gonna use an index of five. I'm only gonna take five cards and I get the string from the first from the very first index or the current index. I get the array of the cards at that same index. So we're getting index zero one from or from zero from here and zero from the cards. Then I set the uh, cards FSM name to uh, whatever this one was. I just loop back and then when it's done, it activates the hand and then comes here. All right, and if I wanted to, I can go like this. I'm gonna turn that one off. All right, so it creates all the cards. Hit shuffle, hit play. Hit shuffle. Hit play. Shuffle and play. Oh, shuffle and play. Shuffle and play. So there you kind of get the idea. Now, if you were to discard a card, you obviously don't want to just keep running at the very first part of that index either though. So you would literally have <coughs> another variable, current position in deck, right? So technically, if I wanted to now, say we hit mix, so we, we mix them up. Now if I say show, um, it does this. Now what if I hit show again and instead I take the the <coughs> um, int add. So I'm going to take the current position in deck and add five. finish come down here and now I'm going to start at current position in deck that also means we need a int operator so current position in deck plus five equals final card Right, so now this is the final card. Do, do, do. 
Now, the difference might be here is the index isn't going to match up. So there might be something there, but let's let's see. So we hit shuffle. No, hit shuffle. Yeah, okay, so that's, there's going to be one error there, so relatively, should be a relatively easy fix, right? So, instead, um, of this array get on the index, we're going to get hand card index so set int value of hand card to zero then we come down here and we int add um, hand card we're gonna add one but we're gonna do this after we get everything so now we're always gonna get the first five on the index so we hit shuffle let's see what's happening in the logic and okay Oh yeah, I don't have this on live update. So now we hit show. And now we have those. So I hit show. And now we have different ones. We have we have actually we have the next five. Right? So this should be index five technically, because zero counts. Something like that. Seven of hearts. So we're at index 10. <clears throat> oh, okay, so he's probably the last one. Sorry. 10 of clubs. Oh, well, it's kind of all over the map. So let's see. We are... Uh, let's just restart that for a minute. So we show the cards. And I hit show again. And we're now getting... But we're, we're skipping some, apparently. Those were two clubs. So this one over here should be three of clubs. Yeah, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, well, that's working. We're going through the deck. So we're at 13. Oh. I guess the other thing is if we do hit shuffle, maybe we should... Copy and paste that and do uh, current position in deck reset that if we hit the shuffle button so there we have shuffle hit play give me live updates so we're at four of diamonds or yeah four of diamonds so we're there Nine of spades, three. Time's up. So we're at six of spades. So the next one should be ten of diamonds. All right, ten of diamonds. There we go. Yeah, so it is working. We're just weird on the updating, I guess. So we work through, then we hit the end. And then if you hit the end, technically, if you wanted to, you could. 
had a little logic there, but we could just hit shuffle and there we go. All right. But we're at, but we're, we're, we're not seeing the first five. We're only seeing, like, we're, we seem to be skipping the first five every time. So, and add position index. So let's take this and bring this down here. All right, so we hit shuffle. We see six of hearts is the first one. We see six of hearts, two of hearts, four of spades. Yeah, so that's good. Seven of diamonds, 13 of spades should be the next one. And there it is, All right? So we're going through, now we're actually going through the whole list. So that's kind of how you could do shuffling with cards. Um, in a way, and so and this this part, I mean, if you if you pre-do the array, you technically you don't have to do this part at all, right? Um, the rest of it, I'm mainly literally just array list shuffle, and then um, playing with values after that. So that's that's kind of how we can do some shuffling. So a small little show there. There you go.